Seinfeld. To his family and his agent, though, he's actor Larry Thomas. But just ask and he'll tell you, soup has been very, very good to him, as you'll see in today's Art of the Deal. Is that lima bean? Yes. Four simple words. No soup for you! Carve Larry Thomas's niche in TV history. As the soup Nazi on Seinfeld, Larry built an instant worldwide fan base, but he didn't make a fortune. To be honest with you, at the time, what they paid me was really generous. It's, it's referred to as top of show on sitcoms. In Larry's case, top of show meant $2,610 for his first Seinfeld soup Nazi appearance, $2,795 for his cameo in the series finale, a screen Actors Guild standard as shown on this contract. A far cry from Jerry's million dollar per episode price tag. But in Hollywood, even a standard deal like Larry's Soup Nazi gig can change your life forever. We met Larry outside the Shelley building in East Los Angeles. If it looks familiar, that's because it was used as the exterior for Seinfeld's apartment on the show. I remember a manager I spoke to said, at your age, you know, with your credits, I would quit. And then about two months later, I got the part on Seinfeld. Good thing he didn't quit. The soup Nazi helped Thomas make the transition from unknown actor to popular guest star on shows like Grace Under Fire, HBO's Arliss, The Gina Davis Show, and UPN's One on One. I suggest you hit, sir. After Seinfeld, Thomas also scored roles in movies like Austin Powers, International Man of Mystery, and the upcoming Bachelor Man. Have you fallen in love recently? He also credits the soup Nazi for helping him score a co-starring role opposite Barbara Eden in the national tour of Neil Simon's The Odd Couple, the female version. We leave the door open. And Larry's finding more and more open doors these days as he shops his own sitcom pilot around town, and he's still in awe of his Seinfeld character's clout. And I suddenly found out that I could get the president of, say, Castle Rock on the phone or, you know, the head of TV for Columbia TriStar. You know, their secretaries would ask who I was, and they'd say, hold on, and these guys would get on the phone. And the soup Nazi has not only worked his magic on Larry's career, the gig was also good for Al Yegena's business in New York. Chef Yegena is the man who inspired the soup Nazi character. Right after the show, uh, there was this, this huge interest in him. And so his lines just were, I mean, his lines were long because his soup is legendary anyway, but they went around the block. And he, he was known to just hate anything that had to do with the episode. Larry, however, has never shied away from his Seinfeld fame. No soup for you. <laughs> come back. One year. And though the soup Nazi gig may not have come with the most lucrative of deals, Larry continues to reap the benefits of his chance to play Seinfeld's eccentric soup man with a big accent and a bigger attitude. I sometimes look back and I go, how the heck did that happen? And Larry is getting ready to rejoin Barbara Eden on another leg of their national tour. Now, NBC.